Hey everyone, welcome to a live session. This should be a lot of fun. This is my first live session. We're gonna cover guitar today for basic, for beginners. So let's jump right in. My name is Garrett Broughton. I am a, an enthusiast for music and I'm a beginner. So for those that are watching for the first time, this is gonna be very basic, pretty advanced. Hopefully I'll get progress and make more content out there available. So if you like this, stay tuned for beginner, please comment on the live session. I'll also post this on YouTube later for, for later viewing. So it'll be about 15 minutes. So let's jump in with presentation and also a demo that I have for you. All right, so first let's talk about the basics. First is the posture. A couple of things that you should know is do your best to sit up straight. If you're slouching, it really is bad for your ergonomics and it's going to wear you out and make you more tired. This is pretty obvious. So there's a few ways to hold the guitar. One is standing. And if you have a guitar strap, then that'll help you in standing. And you can switch in between these. If you get a little fatigue, switch. And I recommend 10 to 30 minutes a day. It's better to go short sessions than longer sessions during the day, so short incremental. So even if you can do 10 minutes a day and you'll progress because it commits to long-term memory. The second way is casual where you just place it on your right leg. And this is what I use the most, it's most comfortable for me. And then the next one is you can move it over here to, the, to your left side of, of your leg and you can play this way. So whatever works for you, there's not a right or the wrong way, but just make sure you have good posture is make sure that your guitar is upright so it's sitting 90 degrees you don't want it to slouch down like this some people use it to see the strings that also has bad habits just getting a good habit of upward and eventually you're going to learn the strings it'll become more second nature you won't have to retrain yourself later the next part is the numbering system you'll hear a few different uh, ways of using numbers first way is your fingers when you're reading, reading tablature so that's starting with the index, one, two, three, four. And when you're reading notes, you're gonna see those. Okay, then the next one is the strings. This is not entirely obvious. You start at the bottom. So the bottom E is one, and then you work your way up two, three, four, five, six for a six string guitar. The next is the frets. So starting here, you have markers to help you out. So here is a marker, three, five, seven, nine, and so on. Those help you know, get to know where you are on the, on the neck. So let's talk about that as the component of a guitar. It's good to know all these things, that way you can communicate with other musicians and you're able to talk about your stuff. So get to know your, your gear and that will help you decide on what you like and what you don't like and really help you get more enthusiastic about playing. So up here is called the, uh, the headstock. And what you have up here at the top are the tuning keys, one for each string. Sometimes you have them at the top and the bottom. And then here is what's called tuning pegs or your nut, and that holds the strings. So that's the headstock. Then moving down to the middle portion over here, you have the neck, and it starts with the nut here. And then each one of these metal strips is called a fret. And sometimes that fret is, is built with the guitar, sometimes it's just glued on, depending on the, on the guitar. So that's what you have. And you also have what you can get is called a capo, is a metal clip that you put on each fret and you can move it up and down. That changes the key of the guitar. Okay, and then next we'll move on to the body. This is the body. Now there's differences between acoustic and electric. This is an electric. The reason I chose electric is because you can plug it in to your computer, which I'll show you a demo on how that works. But mostly, it's, they are similar in, in some ways. So over here, you have what's called your, your pickup system. And you have the bridge and the saddle. And that will hold the other ends of your strings. And then on the acoustic, you have a pick guard, which protects the wood uh, from, from being scratched. You don't necessarily have that on an electric. Then you have the pickup pickup system underneath here. There's a couple of those. One is called the humbucker and the other one is called the single coil. The humbucker 
uh, prevents kind of the humming noise. And sometimes you have multiple ones underneath, and so you'd have a switch to switch in between those. So that's some more advanced uh, features you can find. And then also you have some control switches to have volume and a tune here. And then lastly, you have a couple here for your straps for a shoulder strap. And then you have a plug plug into your amp or a PA system. In this case, I'm using a guitar interface. And the reason I'm doing that is to plug in the computer for an app. And this is $30 on Amazon. It's basically a way to change it to a USB connection. And you get the lowest USB or the lowest latency that way. The other method, if you have an acoustic, you have to turn on your microphone. So if you're playing music and the computer's trying to pick it up, there can be interference in latency, so it can cause some delay. Okay, so a few things here to note. Also, you want to get to know the string names. So you, some people start at the top and go down. You can also start at the bottom and go up. I find it easiest to start at the bottom because you're starting with one. So that's E, B, G, D, E. And here's a few sayings I put on the screen to help you memorize those. And it'll take you some time. Eventually, you'll, you'll get to memorize those, just like playing it commits to memory. But it's just a few tricks to help you get to know the open strings. OK, let's talk about tuning. Tuning is important, one of the first things to learn. There's a few ways to do it. The first way is you can buy a tuner that clips on here that stays with your guitar. And these are really nice. You can get some acoustic ones for $30. You can get some electronic ones that are super high end, about $80. And one thing about the electric is they have a display where you can strum all the strings and it'll give you a red or green light that tells you if they're all in tune or a plus or minus to tell you if one of them is higher or lower. So that you can quickly get a gauge on whether it's in tune or not and then you can do individual ones after that. One of the things you want to do when you're tuning is if one's out of tune, then you want to start low. So have it low and work your way up. I won't necessarily do a demo here, but there's plenty of other demos you can check out on YouTube that will help you walk you through the notes on how to tune, but you basically can just turn your tuning keys until you get the right pitch. The next way is an app, which I'll show you in Musician. That's a really easy way to tune, uh, tune your guitar. And then also, here's another one you can do it by ear. It's called a pitch pipe, and you basically just blow on it. So here's an E. There's an E. That's another way. Another way is to do it by ear. So it's called the fifth string method. So you start on the fifth, fifth fret, sorry. And then, so that's an A, hold down an A. And then play the second string, which if you remember from the names of the open strings, is an A. So those should be similar, similar in tune. And you can work your way all the way down to tune all your strings. Okay, here's uh, another thing that to consider is your strumming method. You can use a pick or you can use your fingers. I prefer a pick because it's more precise. You can, I believe, make better sound. You can use your fingers. It's easier to get started, but again, you'll have to retrain yourself. So why not? You're gonna, it's going to be harder in the beginning. Just like when you're playing, it's going to take a month or two to build up the calluses. Same thing here. It's going to take a little while to get used to it. Uh, but if you challenge yourself up front, it's going to pay off after a month or two. So I recommend a pick it's to use that. And what you do is some analogies that I found online were consider, imagine that you have honey on your hand or on your pinky and there's feathers stuck to it and you're trying to flick it off. And what that does is that emphasizes you flicking your wrist rather than your elbow. Because if you do your elbow, you're going to get a lot of tension. So you want to flick your wrist. And what you can do is just practice that. So cover all the strings and just practice strumming. And practice up and down, too. When you're strumming down, you're mostly going to hit all the strings. And when you're practicing up, you may not hit all the strings. But I, that's pretty normal. So just practice 
practice drumming. Make sure that you don't wear yourself out than doing your whole arm. So use your rest. Okay, let's go over a demo. This is the fun part. Uh, Musician is an app out there that I found. It's not the only way to learn. Some people say they won't use it. Some people say they love it. It just really depends on you. A couple ways to learn is you can go find YouTube videos and listen to people there. That's one way. You can also supplement that. Try going to join a band. You can collaborate with other artists that way uh, by joining a band, joining uh, your worship team service if you're involved in a church, or uh, you can go to meetups around your local area. Get involved half, half your time uh, in person, another half time online. So this is an online version that if you're playing with a group, then you can practice in between. And it really helps you guide you along the way. It's, there's also, you can get an instructor or mentor as a way, but this is a way just to kind of help you. It provides all the music for you. You don't have to go out there and search it. So musician is $10 a month for one instrument. You can play four or five instruments for $15 a month. Uh, what it does, there's a few, and I'll show you how this works, but there's uh, different tracks uh, for guitar. There's lead, rhythm, knowledge, tracks, and you go through on a level from one to 15, and you work your way down to that level of knowledge. It also has social components, so your friends you can connect with from Facebook that are playing, and you get stars and points, and it can be a competition. There's a lot of popular songs out there that you've heard. If you want to play your favorite song, there, they've also created a ton of songs. There is uh, challenges, daily challenges that really push you and what you've done before and it helps you go forward. And then you can go back and master ones that you missed. So as a star method, you have to get at least two out of three to, to advance. And you can go back and say, oh, I didn't really do well on this one. You can go back and, and do it again. So that's, that is how it, uh, it works. So let's, uh, let's open that up. I'll show you how how it works here. So I'll do a quick demo here. So here's Learn. These are the tracks that I talked about. You have, here's a lead track, knowledge track, a rhythm track. The knowledge is, is more, more or less tutorials that are videos that help you with your methods. And then the lead track and the rhythm, well, the lead is to help you get certain uh, strings down and the rhythm is, is more on the chord side. So you can practice all these three, as you can see, I'm working my way down. I'm on level two and you can go to 15. So you can probably make your way through a level in a week or two, just depending on how much time you put in. And then, and it gets harder and harder. So it takes longer as you go. So workouts, these are things you can do. You can improve by going all gold stars or getting missing stars. That's where you go back and improve. And here's some other different things, categories like ear training. You can train your pitch to your ear, work on scales, arpeggios, finger picking, chords, and tutorials. So it puts it all in this nice category view. And then, so let's go to songs. So here's songs. You can listen to popular ones. You can add your own songs from SoundCloud or YouTube. And then here's different genres that you can try if you're a fan there. My repertoire is, is ones that you've saved, saved in your category or played. Here's the challenges I talked about. So you can, uh, they change these out and you can have a placement. And then uh, let's see anything else yeah so you can there's a social component you can follow people or people that are following you and you can see uh, how they're doing here's your activity tracking so you can see this is playtime that was put in and they recommend anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes a day and then uh, okay let's let's go over the tuning here Okay, so it's going to tell you if it's high or low. See, so it's a little bit low. The B, so I'm going to turn that up a little. There we 
go. Now we're in tune. All right, so let's play a couple just examples. This is in tablature, but it's really nice. You can switch in between different ones. Let me show you how that works. So here's guided lessons. Uh, I'm gonna go to the track. Actually, I'm gonna go to workouts and previous ones. Let's take a look at ones that I've, I've worked on. So here's the skill level. Here's the stars, I got eight out of nine. So I'll show you this one. You can practice the practice mode gives you the ability to change the tempo. Let's pause real quick. So you can go all the way down, all the way up, and speed it up. The other nice feature is the different notations. So tablature only. You can do sheet music. You can do tablature and sheet music, which uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at that. This one's pretty nice. So as here, as you can see, it also gives you the finger coloring. So this is this is the fret right here, 0, 3, 0. And then this is the finger. So if it's 0, there's no finger. If it's 3, it's going to be, well, if it's purple, sorry. If it's purple, it's going to be this finger and then a, uh, orange, purple, blue, and yellow, purple, sorry, purple. Get my colors mixed up today. <laughs> yellow purple, blue, orange. I'm not colorblind. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's take you through this real quick and I'll show you how it, it, it works. And it, it's very basic. It's not, you're not gonna read music right away, but at least gets you accustomed to learning how to use the guitar. So. <laughs> get you the rhythm down. Get your hands on the guitar and have fun. Nice chord. I won't go through this whole demo, but you can see it gets really gets your hands on the on the guitar and it tracks you. If you ever play Guitar Hero, similar to that, but it's helping you read music. It's helping you get on the guitar. So the next advancement from this is just playing music on your own or creating your own music. So you can get very advanced here. That's all I have to show you today. This is one, lesson one. Tune in for another lesson. I will be going live once a week. So check out the Facebook page. It's called Knowledge Mavens. And we, uh, yeah, we're gonna share a lot of guitar. We also show other videos too. So comment if you like this video. Let me know what you'd like to hear. See you again, cheers.